Well, the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only my inspiration for volunteering with the AHA organisation comes from the stories and experiences of my family and friends who have come before. The impact they've made on the lives of others have been so inspiring and something that I too am hoping to experience. Whether this contribution is big or small, I am really hoping to be able to change people's lives for the better. The biggest challenge I have faced during this trip has been communicating with the local Cambodian people because of the language barrier. Fortunately, due to the help of the local medical students, we have been able to overcome this and I have thoroughly enjoyed working with them. I have found this experience very rewarding and I hope to come back next year. After three days seeing hundreds of patients, Apart from seeing severe case of cataract and glaucoma, our GP team has diagnosed many cases of diabetes, untreated high blood pressure, heart disease. I believe our team has provided the care that would lengthen people's life expectancies and their quality of life. The patients come to us, some of them bilaterally blind from cataract. They are younger than my Australian patients, mostly in the working age group. This is probably a reflection of their poor nutritional state. They present with severe cataract because they cannot afford to seek medical help. Compared to the working conditions in Australia, this setup here is more challenging. Having said that, I am impressed by the quality of the equipment provided to us by AHA. This allows us to provide first world standard of eye care to these poor patients. Cataract surgery as we perform in Australia is of an extremely high standard. We bring this standard to cataract surgery performed in Cambodia. We use the latest technology with FACO emulsification and modern intraocular lenses. By joining in this group, I'm very surprised how big the group is. With more than 100 uh, people uh, from all sort of uh, walk of life, uh, from the surgeon, the GP, the optometrist, the pharmacist, medical student, uh, non-health professional, we all uh, come with a big heart, uh, forming a very efficient, well-organized group that uh, give a lot of uh, uh, side back to uh, people who could not see. Uh, and the happiness uh, back to their life and uh, make them become more confident. That's what I'm very happy with this trip. During my week here in Phnom Penh with Aha, I commenced screening the patients in a village outside of the city. Many of these patients were referred for treatment in the dental clinic. At the university, I have had the pleasure of supervising and mentoring the local dental students. Providing dental care to the local disadvantaged population who may not have otherwise have had the opportunity of receiving dental care has provided me with a wonderful opportunity and a highlight to my practicing career. So as an eight-year-old, often um, 
with intellectual disability and some of the um, high functioning autism spectrum. Um, so today's challenge is we are going to take out um, some of this baby teeth and adult teeth which are infected and broken down. Um, and I gather from his carer that um, no dentist um, in North Kent want to treat him. Um, so we have taken him on board uh, through AHA and we are going to um, treat um, SOP today. Uh, let's see how it goes. If the sky that we look upon should tumble and fall, or the mountains should crumble to the sea, I won't cry, I won't cry, no, 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 I won't shed a tear just as long as he stays. And the land is dark And the moon is the only, only light we'll see Right here by my